I'm going to talk to you about how you can get the images that you created in uh, Photoshop, the, the image that you went and took photographs of and then you pulled into Photoshop and you color corrected them and you framed them and cropped them into square images and exported them. I want to show you how you can get those pictures into um, the PowerPoint that I've provided for you so that you can turn it in as a PDF. So first thing is that you'll notice that I'm in my project one folder and so if you look here I've got highlighted my Photoshop artboards for cropping photographs folder. You might have called yours something different but this is uh, what I was calling mine. So what I've done is I've downloaded this file that's called Learning to See Design Photography 10x10. It's a PowerPoint file and this is to keep things a little bit simple in the beginning of the semester. That's why we're using PowerPoint as the thing that you can drop your stuff into. More people are going to be familiar with PowerPoint than they are, say, with something like um, InDesign, <laughs> right, which I don't want to get into. Um, uh, so we're going to use this kind of as like a repository uh, so that you can see, you know, how you can lay out your work in a grid really easily. Now, What's kind of nice uh, is that basically the slides that are in this PowerPoint, if we go ahead and open it up, are the same slides that you're going to see uh, in in the ending of the entire project one where you have to put an entire book together of all of the stuff that you've done so far for the project. And it, well, it's selective choices. But uh, one of the things that is in that book, and that it's called the foundation design book, and for each section, will be the set of slides that you're creating here. And what's going to be nice about that is that once you do all the work and you turn it in for this first, uh, you know, like the zero phase assignment, then what you'll be able to do later is you'll able to be able to take your completed slides over in this left hand uh, browser pane and you would literally be able to over here copy that entire slide and then paste that entire slide somewhere you know in between see where the orange cursor is blinking you know I could go in here and I could right click and I could say paste and it would paste that slide into a completely different file which is really nice and and then you could just remove the slides that were like the placeholders you know what you turn in here you're also going to be able to reuse it again so make sure that you actually do this assignment because you're still gonna have to do it later no matter what to get credit for your other part of your book. So anyway, let me show you really quickly how you can easily insert stuff into here. First of all, I want to scoot this window over and I want to show you where I downloaded this file called Learning to See Design Photography. I downloaded it inside of my um, my Photoshop artboards folder. It's the one that I said you may have named yours something different, but basically it it's the you know first assignment uh, that we're going to be turning stuff in for. With the photography and so right here uh, you'll if you look down this is where I had created my new assets folder you should have done something similar and you may not have created all of the ones that say web because I told you that wasn't absolutely it wasn't necessary for this assignment I was just showing you how you could do it so you would know how to do it like say for some other class for instance but you should at least have all the ones that were print ready so like I have line print I have plain print, point print, and so on. And that's where I'll be grabbing those pictures from. All right. Now, I'm going to leave this open because uh, it is actually, there's a good reason for me to leave this open. I'll show you why in just a second. So if I go over here, let's say we're going to do point first. Okay, so I'm going to open that up just a little bit. And when I come over here in PowerPoint, one of the things that I'm going to, do first of all I'm going to close this up just a little so it's not taking up my entire screen because it's it's not necessary right now that it does okay so I'll come over here like this and make sure that you've got the first one selected and whenever you look at it that down here it says point where it says learning to see blah 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 make sure it says point okay so that we know we're selecting the right thing and then I'm gonna right click inside of this uh, square and I'm going to choose format shape. Now some of you might automatically think why don't I just go up to the insert option and insert an image. Well um, then you're going to have to scale it properly. The thing is I've already placed all of these squares in here in the, the grid for you. 
that way you don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? And then if you do this, it'll automatically fit properly and it'll show up just fine. So if you go where it says fill, it should be the first thing selected. And then you're gonna click over here where it says picture or texture. And then you're gonna say from file, choose picture. And then automatically it's gonna try to go to um, the clip art section for um, the Microsoft Office uh, PowerPoint tool. So one of the things that you can do really easily it's kind of nice, at least you can do this on a Mac. Um, and uh, you can go over here to the file folder that I had open before where it says uh, point print and I can just sort of grab that and drag it there. That way I don't have to go searching all through my file system for that folder every single time. Okay, and so now that is, uh, it's already selected that as the chosen picture. And what's nice is that because when I exported everything, it exported everything out serially, you know, with the one, two, three, four, five, six, and so forth at the end. I can just choose based on the number because I was really careful to make sure that my artboard numbers matched the order of my grid, right? So I'm going to click on insert and you'll see right here that I can click OK. And right off the bat here, I'll just, I'll swap these out since I need to have this on this side anyway. And what's nice is that it's got my picture in there and it's exactly uh, fitting perfectly the way that I expected it to. And one thing that I, I have noticed is that whenever I look at it here, it might look a little, a little fuzzy, but whenever you go to export it out as a PDF, it doesn't look fuzzy at all. Okay. So again, let's do that one more time and we'll go right click inside of that, say format shape, and then you go over here to picture texture, choose your picture and see, even though last time I changed the, the location of where I was picking from, it keeps defaulting back to the same place. So that's why it's so much easier for me to, to just come over here and just drag the picture in there. I can say insert. Okay. And then just keep going on. Okay. So I went ahead and I, input the rest of the point images in so you didn't have to watch me doing all of those. One of the things that I wanted to show you before I go to export is that you still need to go and put all of your other ones in, right? So if you look down here at the bottom, um, this says here, let's blow this up a little bit. You can see like that right now I'm on the one that says letter form. This one's texture, right? This one's plain and this one is line. And the one that I had already done, was point. Okay, so make sure that you're doing the right one whenever you um, start to input these things. And so I'll go ahead and I'll do the first one of the line so you can see kind of, you know, make sure that you're doing it right. All right, so if I, I want to show you really quickly, by the way, just what would happen if I just drug this in here and tried to make it go there. See, it, it it's not, because it's not the right size, uh, you would have to actually go and scale this and make it fit and all of that stuff, right? And so um, you could do that if you found that was simpler for, for whatever reason, but um, I don't think that, you know, most of you are going to find that to be any simpler. So anyway, what we're going to do is right click, uh, go here to format shape, choose that picture again, and then instead of doing what I did before, where I just drug the picture straight in there, I'm going to make sure that I am picking it from my list here. All right, and then it inserts it. Now I am going to go ahead and I'll finish inputting these for the rest of this file so I can show you how to export them without you having to watch me do all of them. All right, so I just finished doing uh, the rest of them. So uh, this is the line, uh, here's plain, texture, and letter form, okay? And so now if I want to export all of that, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's saved. Uh, and I did that with a key command, or you could come up to file and save. And now what I want to do is I want to say save as. And now I'm going to make sure that I'm saving it in the right place. And instead of saving it as PowerPoint, I'm going to come down here where it says format, and I'm going to choose PDF. All right, and so let's go ahead and we'll save. And one thing that it did is let's go ahead and do this, it popped in over here. And then there's my PDF version. And so one thing I, I didn't do though, in this is what I want you to do, is I wanna make sure that you put your last name at the end 
so you would put last name before you turn it in. Otherwise, I'm going to have a whole bunch of files from everybody that's got the same file name. So it's really important that you put your last name on there at the very end. All right, so if I want to double click this, I can open it in whatever my my uh, PDF viewer happens to be. And you can see here that the, the image quality is actually good, even though it looked maybe a little bit blurry in the um, PowerPoint document. All right, and so you can see that these are all pretty, pretty nice looking. Okay, and so that's all you have to do. And then this is the file that you'll end up uh, uplo uploading to Canvas for your photography phase um, in the learning to see phase uh, in that discussion. And then later, as I remind you, I'd like to remind you again, not to get rid of this, of course, because this is going to be the PowerPoint where you can copy these slides and then just put them directly into your final book because these uh, pages will be something that you need to have in your final book. That's it.